planning his future. And now his family's planning his funeral. A 19 year old man gunned down. His friends and family, as you might imagine, devastated. At least one person now behind bars. Our Winnie Dort has more. He was talented and wanted to perfect his craft, killed before he could do so. 19-year-old Sir Keontae Jackson, an aspiring football player, leaving behind unfinished business. His coach, Mark Harris, broken. I was stunned. It, it was something that I was not expecting. I had just spoke with Sir. We was trying to get his choices down to where he was going to go to school, what was the best offer for him, and just hurry up and get, get him out of Cleveland, Ohio. Early Sunday morning, he took his last breath on DeSoto Avenue in Cleveland Heights. Police found him slumped over in the passenger seat of a car in front of this home. Are they conscious and breathing? No, nah, negative. Now with the GSW about the chin. Jackson, a young man who was in high demand, he recently went on a college tour with Harris. When you see 6'4", 300-something pounds get out the vehicle, Linemen are always something that coaches are looking for. So they were trying to make ways, get his transcripts together, make sure they can make all the ins and outs to get him to flow and get there. Coach Harris says he was walking a straight path, encouraging others to do the same. And he was trying to make a difference, and he was bringing other people to church. All Jackson ever wanted to do was be around like-minded people and take his skills to the next level. Now, he will never know what it feels like to be a college student. Sir was really trying to get his life in the right direction and get on the path with football uh, to, to show another side of him that he probably didn't even know existed. In Cleveland Heights, I'm Winnie Dorch, 19 News. Now